BQ 1.1 is one of the newest Omicron subvariants, and some scientists say it may become the dominant COVID-19 strain this fall and winter. Dr. Isaac Bogosh adds it may be more problematic for those who are immunocompromised. The problem with BQ 1.1 is that it's likely mutated to some extent where that Evusheld won't provide the same degree of protection. Evusheld is an antibody drug given to the immunocompromised, for example, cancer patients or transplant recipients. And Dr. Bogosh says it provides months of protection. That would be my main concern, is if this BQ1.1 takes off, we'd probably lose a lot of the protection from Evusheld, which puts more vulnerable populations at risk. Having said that, it's not as if immunocompromised people can't get vaccinated, they can. So do we know at this point how effective the new bivalent vaccine would be against these new subvariants? No, I mean, we, we don't. Specifically for some of these sublineages of Omicron that are emerging, you know, we, we don't have data per se, but I think it's pretty clear that we've seen this time and time again. You know, any variant that has emerged so far, we've seen these vaccines really stand up against these variants in terms of protecting us against more severe illness. The Public Health Agency of Canada tells City News it's closely monitoring BQ 1.1 and says there have been 12 detections in Canada thus far, adding at this time, it is too early to tell if this sublineage is growing in Canada. The World Health Organization has listed BQ 1.1 as an Omicron subvariant under monitoring, with the earliest documented samples dating back to July 4th of this year. In Toronto, Michelle Mackey, City News.